Hi guys. Um, today I am going to show you, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was going to do a Easter Bunny wreath. So I figured I would show you that, but I also said that I would show how I did it. Um, I did buy several rolls of this stuff. This is just comes from the Dollar Tree. And this is just going to show you how I did the bunny wreath, but this is not going to be the exact same as the bunny wreath. Um, I got some of these eggs because I think I'm going to put some of these eggs on this wreath. This one I may do as a gift. And like I said, I have several rolls of this. And I had bought like three of these rings, but... Um, ended up only using, actually I bought two of these rings and I ended up only using one of the rings for the body of my bunny wreath and I had bought a wreath that was already made but I needed the form because it was just the head with the bunny ears and I've got ribbon that I used for mine that I'm just going to use to hang up with the wreath. And then I'm going to see if I can work this ribbon into it. Um, I thought this was really cute for Easter. And then string, um, this is just twine to basically tie on and get you started on the wreath. So I will be right back and get everything going and started. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is you'll just want to cut you, oh, whatever, just enough to tie on the uh, ribbon here. I don't recommend this kind of ribbon really. It's actually pretty hard. It sticks to itself and it's pretty hard to work with, but it'll do in a pinch. I am just going to straighten this up here and get it straightened. And I will get this started. First thing I do is, and this is how I did my bunny wreath, and it was the whole, I mean, that's just how I did it. This is how I started out with it. And this is just to actually tie it on. This be in the front with the dome piece. You see there, I am just going to start it right here with one of these, and I just generically tie it on. So, get it tied on there. And this will be hidden, you won't be able to see it. And I just pull it to the back so that it starts like that. So I flip that over so it rolls from the top. And basically you just start. Like I said, don't worry about them strings. In the end you'll be able to but I just pinch it together and I pull it up and then you pull it up and just to however thick that you want this um, because when we go to fluff it at the end you can pull these out and it can actually be really big and really thick so and I always I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this one as far as the colors um, but we'll see here and then you just pinch it. And this is how I did it. Um, there's several tutorials on these wreaths and how you can do them. And it's just up to you on how you want to do it. But I'm not sure. I think I want to try. I think I want to try and kind of alternate all of the colors, so have like a purple, and then a pink, and a blue, and a white, and then just kind of keep going around with it like that. And then this center one, it will, uh, I want to try to put this ribbon in the center of it, so I'm not sure, but when I get it figured out and come back, I'll show you a few more times with this, even because it's easy to pull out. It's just really easy and you don't have to be precise with it you just pinch it and you pull it up and then you just make sure that you pull the bottom piece from underneath if you when you stagger it back and forth like that it'll end up making these really kind of tight so 
and I am not going to be good at explaining this because what's in my mind and what comes out of my mouth are about two different things. So, but that's kind of the gist of it. And then, like I say, you can pull these out when you go to fluff it, and you can always adjust it to however you want it if you think it's too much. And it's just however you want to fluff it, like that. And then it just depends on how much you want to put in it as to how much and how tight you want it. So let me work with this for a little bit and then I will be back and we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, here I am showing you my bunny that I actually made for the wreath for the door. Um, this is kind of resembles, it's actually, it turned out huge. It turned out way bigger than what I thought it was going to. But um, I really like it. I think it's cute and it fills up quite a bit of the space of the door. I mean, as you can see, you know, from the top of the door and then it goes almost to the middle and down. So it is a pretty good size wreath. This is not the one of course that I showed in my video on how I done it I just wanted to show how I constructed using the uh, ribbon I guess you can call it that I got from the Dollar Tree and the hoops now remember I in one of my haul videos I did show that the bunny head part is a different looking wreath and I stripped all that off of there and then did my own with it um, it's actually turned out really cute and it's really full it just however full you want it um, you can see you know if you get up close you can kind of see the wire on it still and you can just move the stuff all around and everything I did make a bow with it just to kind of separate the head from the body on it so but yeah I really like the bunny and I hope you enjoyed and helped you with a little bit of the DIY on how I did this and the process that it took. Um, it really doesn't take all that long and you can make it as full or as thin as you want, add whatever you like to it or whatever. So anyway guys, that is my DIY bunny wreath. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!